Hey guys, um, <clears throat> just thought I'd do a uh, quick video whilst I'm uh, at this stage of uh, building my Dynam 262. Um, just thought I'd quickly make a quick video in regards to uh, light weathering to, to foamies. Um, there's not a great deal of information on YouTube I found about weathering foam warbirds. Um, so I just sort of thought I'd quickly go into uh, just the basic way that I do it. Now, just a couple of simple things you will need. Um, one of which is some pastels. These are available at most hobby shops. They can be picked up really cheap. Um, and basically all they are is, uh, is chalk pastels. So what I generally do with them, the next thing you'll need is a small file or a uh, blunt knife and the idea is basically just to hold your pastels over a little plastic pot and just file in the shades that you want with this I've gone with a bit of black um, a bit of brown and a little bit of orange you generally find if you mix in slight different tones um, the different the different shades and the different colours get picked up in different lights so you might find if um, if you're in dull light you'll see the darker shades the browns, the greys and the blacks and in the sunlight you'll also see the, uh, the oranges um, it just sort of seems to fade in and gives it a, a fairly realistic look I mean with a foamy all you're ever going to do is get standoff scale so Basically, the next thing is just a short, stubby brush. I've cut the bristles right down on this one so uh, the pile's thicker and uh, it's a lot easier to stubble on. And all we're going to do is just pick up the dust with the tip of the brush. Just loosely brush it into the panel lines. Don't add a great deal of pressure, you don't want to indent the foam. So what you're doing is just putting the, the dust into the panel lines. Doesn't matter at this stage how neat it is as long as it's pretty uh, pretty much in the panel line. And what I generally do is I do do a few panel lines and once you get to that stage give it a blow off and then with a clean finger just run your finger over the excess generally find the more you do this through the stages of doing the weathering you end up with a, a black tip on your finger from the dust and that just helps sometimes to, to blend in the uh, blend in the edge of the panel line if you go too wild on it it's easily correctable and then once you've gone over everything that you need to go over keep standing away from the model, sort of stand, I don't know, 20 foot away from the model look, see if it's too much, see if it's too little and add or take away, like I say, easy enough with a damp cloth you can just go over it with a damp cloth and it will take the whole lot away so, if you're going to be using the model off of uh, damp grass or you're going to be handling it with wet hands it's probably a best idea once you've done all of the weathering is just to quickly spray it in with a bit of, um, a bit of flat so just a bit of flat, flat lacquer um, all the way over everything and then that should seal it in. So anyway there you go guys, only just a quick short video but that's how I do my panel lining. Um, and as I say you can depict the depth of the, the weathering by keep standing away. It always helps to stand away and look at the model as an overall model. Because um, you find if you're just concentrating on one small section you generally over weather it. 
but there you go that's just a basic thanks for watching guys